The stable version of angular signals will come without the mutate function. Yevgeny Tuprotsev pointed out that there is also another bigger change, which might be even more dangerous because we don't see it. I agree and let me quickly show you. So let's say we have a very simple component. So I have here a button. The button says click me. And then I also have here a status, which in a way gets pretty status from a signal. The pretty status is actually a derived signal. There is another one. This is the button status. And in this case, this is a single, this is a signal containing an object literal with the property clicked. And by default, or in the beginning, it is false. And then the pretty status, as I said, this is a derived one. So we have here our computed, where we more or less say, well, if the button status, if it is clicked, then I'm going to return the text clicked. And if not, I want to return not clicked. So in the end, that's more or less like a formatting function that we see here. And now, if I have here my click event listener, so handle click, and I say, I'm going to my button status now, I'm going to update it. And then I just say, okay, we have here our value and I say value clicked, now it's true. And now I'm going to return the value as it is. So what I have done now is a mutable change to my signal, but within an update method. And in, 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 in Angular 16, it was always like this, that every time the update function was called, it automatic, automatically triggered, which means a computed and effect was always re-executed in that sense. There is a sketch tree effect, yes, but um, let's keep that aside. The final result would be that if I say here, click me, then the status message changes from not clicked to clicked. And this is now going to change. I have here the same component again with version 17. It's with version um, 17 next eight. This is the one where signals actually became stable. And here, the way how the update function works is that, the, that it internally checks against the object reference. So actually it's calling object is, but in the end it only triggers if the object reference has changed, which means if the update method is called and doesn't do anything, or if it is doing a mutable change, it's not working anymore. It is not triggering and that's why a computed an effect and also in the future a signal component would not be aware of the change and would not reflect it in the template. So the change detection would not work. Let's open it here. So we see here it's more or less the same, but now I can click as often as often as I want. The status message does not change.